Welcome back to the workshop. It's Tyler from Iron River Armory. And today we're starting on a new project. But if you haven't already, please subscribe and like to see more projects just like this one. And today we're starting the hunting knife from one of Spider-Man's most notorious villains, Kraven the Hunter. We're going to use the design from the game Spider-Man 2 instead of the god-awful movie. The blade guard will be cut out of carbon steel on my CNC plasma cutter. We're then going to do a stacked leather handle. And then we're going to 3D print a lion's head for the pommel. We start by designing the blade and guard in SolidWorks. We're basing Kraven's knife off the model from Spider-Man 2, the game. It is a classic drop point hunting knife. The guard is super unique. It extends on the side of the knife almost all the way down the blade. It will be made in three layers and then welded together. Alright, now that the 3D modeling is all done, we're going to load it up into Fusion 360 to convert it into a file for the CNC plasma cutter. Garden blade are all cut out. Now we're going to head over to the grinder to clean everything up. Now we're going to weld all the parts of the guard together and then grind them down to their final shape. the guards all done we're going to start grinding in the bevels on the blade we're going to start with the secondary bevel which is the small narrow bevel that gives the knife its edge then we're going to move on to the primary bevel All right, now we're going to sand the blade down before we do the heat treat. Since the blade isn't hardened yet, it is going to be a lot easier to get out of the scratches. And on to the heat treat. We're going to quench the blade at 1450 degrees. We're going to be using Park 50 oil. Then we're going to temper the blade at 500 degrees to make it less brittle.
Now the heat trait's done, we're doing the final sanding. There ain't no glue on the guard. Time to start the leather stack handle. We begin by laser cutting out all the layers. Then we dip each layer into glue and then stack them onto the handle. We then let it harden and then we can shape it on this belt sander. The glue's all dry and hard, and now we're onto the belt sander. We're gonna use a coarse belt on the belt sander to get the handle to its rough shape, then go up to a fine belt to finish it off. And to finish off the handle, we're going to apply finishing wax to seal in the leather. And now onto the pommel. We pull an STL file of a lion's head off of the website Things 3D. Then we're going to modify it on SolidWorks to fit onto the tang. Then we're going to print it out and glue it on. Final step is to wrap the edges of the handle and the pommel with leather strips. This will complete the look from the game.